Hi, so in this video we are going to learn one method to find the highest common factor or the greatest common divisor. This method is very useful when you are finding the HCF or GCD of comparatively smaller numbers. Suppose if you want to find the highest common factor of 36 and 24. First step of finding the HCF is find the prime factors of all the given numbers. So first I'll find the prime factors of 36. How do we find the prime factors? Yes, we have to start from the smallest possible prime number and keep dividing this number, right? So we have 36, which is an even number. So it will be divisible by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 eights are 16. Again, we have to divide it by 2 because 18 is also an even number. So 2 nines are 18. And now we have 9, which is not divisible by 2 because it is an odd number. And it is divisible by 3. So 3 threes are 9 and 3 ones are 3. So prime factors of 36 are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Right? And if I try to find the prime factors of 24, again I'll use the same method. 24 is an even number, so it will be divisible by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. 2 6 are 12 and 2 3s are 6 and 3 1s are 3. So the prime factors of 24 are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. Right? So I have noted down the prime factors. First step is saying find prime factors of all the given numbers that we have done. List all the common factors. I have found prime factors of both 36 and 24 and I have listed them here. Now what they are saying in second step they are saying list all the common prime factors or the minimum repetition of a prime factor in any list. So what do I mean by this? First if I say list all the common factors I have to search for common factors in both these lists. So this 2 is common in both the lists. Then there is one more 2 which is common in both the lists, right? And after this, we have two 3s in the list of factors of 36 and we have one 2 and one 3 in the list of the factors of 24. So I can find one 3 common in these two lists, right? So if I write all the common factors, it will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. And since we are writing all the common factors, it is actually the highest common factor. And third step says product of all the common factors will be HCF. So the HCF will be 2 to the 4, 4 3 are 12. So 12 will be the HCF, right? And here we have a sentence inside the bracket. This says the minimum repetition of a prime factor in any list. So if I write all the factors of 36 using exponents, this can be written as 2 to the power 2 because 2 is getting repeated 2 times multiplied by 3 to the power 2. 3 is getting repeated 2 times. And this 24 can be written as 2 to the power 3. 2 is getting repeated 3 times multiplied by 3 to the power 1 or we don't write power 1 so 3, right? And from here, if we follow this sentence in the bracket, the minimum repetition of prime factors. So if I talk about the minimum repetitions of prime factors in these two sets, minimum repetition of 2 is 2 and minimum repetition of 3 is 1, right? So from here also, we get HCF or GCD is equal to 2 square is 4 multiplied by 3, 12. So this is what I meant by the minimum repetition of any prime factor. There is one more style in which we can use this prime factorization method to find GCD. And believe me, this method can be extended to any number of given numbers. So let's find the GCD of three numbers using this method. Alternate of this method. Suppose this time we are trying to find the HCF of three numbers. Numbers are 12. 18 and 24. In this alternate method, what we do is 
we try to find a factor which is common to all because we are finding highest common factor. So if we see 12, 18 and 24, all of them are yes, even numbers. So all of them will be divisible by 2. So here we have to think about a prime number which divides all the given numbers, right? So if I divide 12 by 2, I'll get 2 6 are 12, 2 9s are 18, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4 right now we have 6 9 and 12 6 and 12 are even numbers they will be divisible by 2 but 9 is an odd number it will not be divisible by 2 so now we have to think about a different number which can divide all of them so let's go to 3 so if i think about 3 6 is divisible by 3 9 is divisible by 3 and 12 is also divisible by 3 so 3 will be the next common factor. We are talking about common factors. So we have to think about a prime number which is a factor of all the given numbers. Right? So here 3 will be the next common factor. 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9 and 3 4s are 12. And now we have 2, 3 and 4. 2 and 4 are again even numbers. They will be divisible by 2 but this 3 will not be divisible by 2. This 3 is divisible by 3 but this 2 and 4 are not divisible by 3. Right? So our process actually ends over here. And now if I talk about HCF, in this case HCF or GCD that is the greatest common divisor will be equal to 2 multiplied by 3. 2 and 3 and this will be equal to 6. 6 will be the greatest common divisor of 12, 18 and 24. Right? So here also we are actually finding the prime factors. If we use this prime factorization method in this way, we are directly finding the common prime factors and we are actually avoiding the factors which are not common to other numbers. Right? So this is one more method of finding the highest common factor using the prime factorization method. And in next video, we are going to learn the division method to find HCF or GCD. And that method is very useful when we are trying to find the HCF of comparatively larger numbers. Right? So, bye-bye till then.